In this video, I'm about to show you what are RAG agents, how do they work, and if you're a total beginner, you will understand exactly what are vector databases and how you can integrate them with the RAG agents. So let's get right into it and let me explain everything. So as you can see in front of us, we have an AI agent. This is what I like to call a RAG agent. This is called a RAG agent. Now, what is a RAG agent? A RAG agent is essentially an agent that has has a tool attached to it and that tool is usually a vector database. So reg agents are working directly with vector databases to give an answer to an input. So if you are familiar with NA10, as you can see you have a chat node and whenever someone asks a question, that question is being fetched by the AI agent and then AI agent will go through the vector database and it will give us the answer. Now what are vector databases? Vector databases are databases that are collecting PDFs with images, you know, or that are handling images, videos, and multimedia files and bitter files like that and a lot of like quantity of those files are being managed with or through a vector database so for example if you have a pdf with like 600 pages and that pdf has videos images text uh, then that is a great uh, way to embed that document and upload it to a vector database so in this case we're going to be using a vectorized platform for uploading and creating a reg pipeline a reg pipeline will be essentially a database and what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be adding a Warren Buffett biography I have it right here this is just for this example and as you can see this is the entire biography 600 plus pages we have images we have a lot of different things right here so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a uh, reg pipeline so let's create a new reg pipeline then I will show you how this works in this use case so uh, we have two different use cases we have uh, with the reg a ai agent and then we also have with a vectorized ai http node or http request node if you're a total beginner to na10 i will literally explain every node one by one and step by step so you don't have to worry about that okay so by the way all of these resources are linked below uh, as well with the vectorize ai so again vectorize ai it's a vectorize um, a database for ve vector database basically i almost rumble here but uh yeah and you want to go here to reg pipeline and you want to create a new reg pipeline now i will explain to you uh, what a reg pipeline is right now now as you can see in the reg pipeline once it loads up here now as you can see this is a reg pipeline and here we have a source we have extractor and chunker we have embedder and then we have a vector database so in the source what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a source that is going to be file upload because we're going to be uploading the file the pdf that we have again keep in mind you can add as many files as you want there's like a lot of files you can add especially in the free plan i think you can add like 1.5k pages so as you can see, we have Warren uh, Buffett biography already here. We can add a new connector and we can then go here and upload files. So just click here and you want to go here and add a file. Since we already have a file here, we're going to be going back and then just file upload and going clicking on this. Okay. It also remembers files from the past that you uploaded. Okay. From there, we have extractor and chunker. So here we have um, ex extraction strategy. This is important. So if you're using very simple PDFs with like uh, text files, stuff like that, without many images and without too many, you know, too many videos, and stuff like that then use this fast simple and fast extractor if you are using like more like images you have text some images and some other multimedia uh, files then definitely use vectorize iris and then if you have like very big documents with like text documents with media with uh, videos with images and everything in, in one then use a mixed mixed uh, extractor right here so we're going to be using fast chunking strategy is going to be a paragraph so we're uh, chunking the paragraphs uh, and then chunk size can be 500 and chunk overlap can be 50 now for the embedder uh, again we can use a built-in embedder embedder just means that you can uh, you know you can bring your own ai 
platforms as well here like OpenAI. But since we're using an OpenAI here, we're using actually a GPT 3.5 Turbo. Uh, we're going to be leaving this as it is, okay? So what we're going to be doing is going to embedder and just using a built-in embedder from Vectorize, okay? Now from here, as you can see, this is it. We can simply deploy a React pipeline. So what we're doing right now is we're creating a vector database with Warren Buffett biography. So we're going to be going here and naming this Warren Buffett right here, biography, okay? And then from there, we're just going to be deploying the rag pipeline right here. So again, this will take uh, a bit until, um, you know, all the uh, data is being deployed, right? So as you can see, while we're doing that, I'm going to be jumping in NA10 and I will show you exactly node by node how everything is structured, right? So here we have a chat message uh, or uh, this can be called a uh, trigger. And the trigger is right here at on, um, let me actually go on chat message. Yeah, so this is the trigger. So on a chat message, whenever someone goes and whenever someone uh, asks, uh, for example, when did Warren Buffett make his first, first million? The AI agent will go and generate an answer based on the vectorized AI database and based on the help of the AI, which is in this case, GPT 3.5 Turbo, okay? So next node is going to be AI agent. In the AI agent, what we're going to be doing is connecting the chat trigger node okay and here is a JSON chat input so you want to add that in here and uh, yeah you should be able to test this and get the output keep in mind if you haven't connected this node right here it won't work so first we need to connect an open router chat model so for that we want to connect an open router chat model you simply go to open router uh, you want to create an account on open router and you want to go to keys and on the key section, create a new key. From there, you want to go here. And once you add the open router chat model a node, you click here, you paste the API key in here, okay? From there, you add GPT 3.5 Turbo. That's the one we're going to be using. It's a free one. And the next node is the most important node, and that is our vector database. So this node is called, if we go to tool, we can add a tool here, and we can add an HTTP request tool right here, okay? So what we're going to be doing is we're going to to be going in vectorize AI here and this this is usually called HTTP request node it's not going to be called like this I called it like this because I want to know that this is the one node that I'm using okay so here what I said is I said call this tool when a user adds a query in the chat so when a user adds a query in the chat call this tool okay so that's what I did in the in the description it can be very simple okay method will be post uh, so again what we're doing here is we are calling uh, vector database from vectorize ai with an api key an api key is essentially a way to call that tool without having it in the na10 okay so we're, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to url and url right here is going to be our endpoint for our uh, rag pipeline so as you can see pipelines and then as you can see this is a rag pipeline right here okay so how how, do, how are we getting this url right so what i did is uh, this is still the by the way okay so as you can see we have it right here so we have everything right here uh, and as you can see we have Oreo as well and this is everything that we need to know for now okay if we go back to our dashboard and if we go to reg pipelines let me actually refresh this we should be able to see a reg pipeline yeah this is the reg pipeline right here and we can actually go to it and as you can see here we have like a lot of different things we have like uh, initial load right we have reg sandbox we have connect here we can see the endpoint as well now as you can see this endpoint right here is this right here here, as you can see so what we want to do is want to copy this and I want to simply paste it in here okay from there we want to go and send headers using fields below and when we're sending headers we're essentially authorizing the API key so I will also show you how to get the API key don't worry so authorize using field below and here you want to enter bearer and then space and then your API key now how do you get the API key you simply go to vectorize you go to settings here and you want to go to access tokens here you want to create a new access token and make sure it is again you can you know you can uh, see what works for you but for me i just said never uh to expire never because i don't want it to expire because i want to have it active in my uh you know ai uh reg workflow okay from there you copy that that access token that you get and you pasted it right here so bearer 
and then your API token. From there, content type, again, you add another header here, content type using fields below application JSON and in send body using JSON below, what we're doing here is we are adding a question and this question should be dynamically populated here. Now I will show you what I mean by this. So if I go here and let's say I go here and I play this, let's see what we will get. Okay, so we are getting output. I'm unable to retrieve the information at the moment okay so what we want to do is we want to go to vectorize and we want to go here into uh, expression and then click here and as you can see what we want to do is you want to actually add query which is going to be let me actually go here json chat input query we copy this and we want to copy it right here so instead of this we want to paste that right and uh yeah from there what we can do after we have this okay this is done let me just go back the rec python is here it's it's currently listening as you can see right so it's currently listening and okay so what we want to do is we want to again let's just save this and let's test it out okay let, let's ask when did warren buffett made his first million right here okay so it's asking vectorize let's see what we will get so as you can see it's checking files there's like seven files okay we actually have another note here which is gmail and uh, by the way you can enter uh, add a gmail account by just going and signing in with google and here you have message you have operation send and then you have your email questions answered and then text and then this is the json output from the ai agent right now currently as you can see we're not getting any um and by the way we can even do this without the uh, gmail node if you want you can just delete it you can hit save and then when we ask here in the chat node when did warren ba buffett oops buffett made his first million it will actually answer in the the chat node uh right here so as you can see i'm currently uh i'm sorry but i'm currently unable to retrieve the information about when warren buffett made his first million so that's because this is currently listening and it's currently indexing all the pages we have so uh, as you can see, we have to obviously refresh this. And then once we refresh this, obviously it will still go and listen, I think. Yeah, 600 pages, 1.3K uh, vectors. The rec pipeline status is idle. So currently it's idle. And I think right now we can go and we can ask this question right here. So let me actually do that right here. And then, you know, oh, okay, it says, I'm sorry, but I'm encountering an error. Uh, so what we can do is I will also show you this on uh, another example. Uh, obviously, this uh, we need to wait a little bit until this is done and then we can actually go and use the vectorized AI here to get the data. But I have also a, a more a, a simple example here and that is with a chat node with a HTTP request node and Gmail node. So what we do this here is we have a, a chat message receive here node and then we have an HTTP request node as well and we have also a Gmail node. So in the HTTP request, we did pretty much the same thing. Okay, let me just actually go here and let me copy the endpoint URL because it's a new endpoint URL and let me paste it right here, okay? And let's just test this out. Uh, so let's say oops let me should go here so what is warren or when did warren buffett made his first million as you can see right here the node is executed and we're actually getting the the message here so if we go here to our email and if we test this out right here it will send that specific answer to that specific question to our gmail so if you go here to our gmail let me actually go to my gmail here and right here, as you can see by now, his name passed along with a secret, invest in Warren Buffett to get rich. So as you can see here, it's basically answering that specific that specific uh, uh, question. As you can see in 1960, they leaped to me nearly 1.9 million in assets. So this is exactly what uh, uh, this particular, this is not a reg agent, it's, it's more so just like a workflow but this is right here a rag agent and it, it pretty much doing the same thing right but it's just differently connected because it's using an ai agent node to help uh, gpt 3.5 to answer the vectorized ai data from the vector database so 
again, to kind of recap, this is where you are adding a reg pipeline, which is your vector database. And this is where you're setting up your vector database. From there, uh, you can use a vector database in a simple form like this one, uh, which is a chat node and uh, a HTTP request node, a Gmail node. It can be also just this no these two nodes, okay? A very simple way. Or you can create a reg agent that is looking like this. So a reg agent will then go and uh, with the help of LLM, for example, ChatGPT 3.5 will go and talk with an LLM and with the vectorized AI node right here to give you the best possible answer in here. So again, make sure to do all of that while the reg pipeline status is idle and while everything is confirmed, okay? So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I mean, this is exactly what reg agent is, what are vector databases, how they work together, how reg agents work, how vector databases work, and pretty much the entire workflow that you need to know. Now, keep in mind that Vectorize AI is a very simple uh, vector database platform. So if you want to check it out, check it out with the first link below in the description under the resources. And yeah, hopefully you enjoy this video and find it useful. We'll see you in the next video.